Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to repurpose an old planner to use it for the current year. Here I have purchased a 2022 planner to use it for 2023 at less than half the original price. I will tell you how to select a last year's planner so that you can easily set it up for current year. I got these two planners, this pocket planner and this sticker book for less than 1000 rupees. This planner is from Alicia Sousa. This is the first page and you do not need to do any changes in here. I will fill up the details later. The next bit is holidays which stays the same both the years and uh, on the right side we have uh, personal data and emergency contacts which also can be used without any changes. Then we have uh, calendars for current year and next year. I will be using the planner for the year 2023 so I do not need 2022 and I might need 2024 calendar which is the next year. I chose this planner to repurpose as this one has calendar week starting from Sunday to Saturday and I use Monday to Sunday calendar. So you could easily convert Sunday to Saturday calendar of the previous year uh, by just changing the header which is the day of the week. I use these washi tapes to cover the year and rewrite for the current year 2023 and 2024. Then I use this correction tape to mask the days of the week which is Sunday to Saturday and write Monday to Sunday on the header. This way the calendar can be used for the following year without changing the dates. Here I am done with the calendar spread. The next page is a blank page and then we have letter for you from you. No changes required here and the next page is scribble notes and uh, the space wherein you can write the letter. Then we have the back side of the letter and a blank page. Where is budget planning? I do not uh, track my budget and expenses in a planner. So I will use this sheet for tracking something else and it doesn't need any change for that. Next we have pages with header, goals and thoughts. This is the space to write big ideas of mine. And then the monthly pages starts with January. We have this thick monthly page or divider with tab for all the 12 months which is really great. The first page for every month is for goals, to do's and notes and the next spread is the calendar spread for January. We can use the same method to use this for uh, the next year. I will change the days of the week from Sunday to Saturday to Monday to Sunday. I have these stickers from the Instagram page print queens uh, which has the name of weekdays. I will use these to correct the header. This is not a sponsored video but I will surely give the Instagram handle in the description. I have selected this mint green color to go with the page color. The stickers are a little wider than the header space here. So I trimmed the sticker to fit the header. Similarly, I corrected all the days for the month and it looked like this after adding the stickers. From the next page, weekly spread starts. And in this planner, the weekly starts from first of that month and not Sunday or Monday. I use weekly spreads with week starting from Monday. So these spreads need to be changed even if I was using it for the previous year for which the planner was intended for. To correct the weekly page, I use these washi tapes and stickers. So here I have done for the first week. Planning for 1st of January will be included in the previous week that is the last week of December. This is how I would do for all the weekly spreads. And after the weekly pages we have some more spreads which do not require any changes. We have this uh, blank page, habit tracker, monthly meal planner, monthly wellness tracker and another blank page. I will quickly flip through and show the changes I made. This is the only spread that I made changes in the yearly setup. Then in the monthly spreads I have made changes to the calendar. I haven't changed any other monthly spreads like habit tracker or meal planner. 
you don't have to have these stickers you can use these washi tapes or correction tape to mask the days of the week and write with a marker on top of this i use this ohp marker to write on washi tapes these are waterproof and smudge proof in the weekly spread i have used washi tapes and stickers you can just use the washi tapes or correction tape to mask the days of the week and write on it with a marker i highly recommend the ohp marker to write over washi tapes that's all the changes i have made to this planner to reuse it for the next year i would love to know which planner system you will be using in the next year uh, let me know in comments and if you like the video consider subscribing to the channel and thank you so much for watching